Uh, today, guest uh, detectorist, I have Dan, Captain Fee here. Hey, Dan. Hi. And then Dennis is with us today also. Hey, Dan. And uh, Dan here has found some really nice stuff here. I mean, really nice. We'll show it when we get to yes. the wrap up. All right. Uh, I got a smashed penny. Well, a smashed one's better than no one. It says Orange County Zoo. We're right across from it. <laughs> Um, this is an elongated penny. They have these uh, souvenirs at all kinds of places like Disneyland. Uh, the very first one was made in 1899 at the Paris World's Fair. Really? Yeah. Uh, probably three or four of my friends found uh, seeded dimes right in here, and those are dimes pre-1800. Well, oh, that'd be nice. Or, excuse me, pre-1900. Right. <laughs> well, that'd be nice to find one right now. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, it's just Penny. 64 Memorial. You're getting a nice, nice sound. It's very deep, too. <laughs> And what do we have? It's like a wheat penny. All right. Well, that's really nice, a 1936 Weedy. That'll work. Point, if it's pointed and if it's sitting sideways like this in the hole, mm -hmm. it can give you a nice high pitch sound. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Rosie. It's a Rosie. 1953 Rosie. Friend Dan here, who goes by Captain Fee on the forum. He is one of the best silver coin hunters that I know of. Goodness gracious. <laughs> well, describe what I'm seeing. How many dimes and... Uh, all together here, he has roughly uh, 475 silver coins. And these are all silver quarters, silver dimes. And war nickels. And war nickels. And silver half dollars. Now let's go to the special ones right over here. Now we've got the nickels. Yeah, those are war nickels. They're 35% silver. Maybe I'll let Dan explain. All right. Those, nick those two nickels are uh, war nickels, right? Right, right. And I got a uh, Canadian dime here which is uh, pure silver. And then next you now got, got uh, a lot of the uh, uh, barber dimes. Some were around eight, nine inches, up to nine inches in depth. Just excellent. That's a beautiful one from 1900. That was really nice. So what's the oldest barber dime you have here? I believe I've got an 1896. Incredible. And then we've got these up here. Tell us a little bit about these. Well, I got the halves here. This is a barber half, 1907. Incredible. 
And then we got two uh, Walking Liberty half dollars. Excellent. What year are those from? Actually, that's the one's 19, 1944, and this is a 1935. Excellent. And then next, we have next to it another... That's another Walking Liberty. 35. Another 1935. Oh, just beautiful. And then, of course, uh, this coin here. Yeah, this is my best find of the year. I just got it uh, last Friday. And it's a uh, seated half dollar, 1858. Dan, I'll bet you when you found this, you were a happy guy. Oh, yes, I was. Well, Leo, what do we have here? Uh, this is most of the jewelry that Dan has found for the year. Incredible. Still a ways to go. Incredible. Now, these all on the top here are all silver rings, correct? Yes. All the silver. And then where we get down to the gold here, we've got some really cool things, gold chains. And where did you find some of this stuff, nice Dan? Stuff. Oh, that is really nice. Mostly all of these uh, rings were found at uh, parks. Really? Yeah, in the turf. Well, any at any beaches or? Nope, this is all, these are all park finds. Incredible, that is really nice. Is that all real too? Yeah, wow. yeah that's 14 karat. Yeah. Really nice, really nice. And these are the uh, gold down here. The Indian here is one of them. Where is, oh, there he is. Where is he, oh, there he is. That is incredible. That's solid silver. Incredible. Well, Dan, you've been busy, but you know what? The year isn't over, so I think that you may even have more by the time we get done here. <laughs> well, what a fantastic collection, and I'm sure you've been, uh, what, saving for years? How long have you been metal detecting? For about 20 years, actually. Just like Leo, huh? All right, well, we actually metal detected here today, and you actually got some stuff other than that wonderful treasure we just saw. What did you get, Leo? Um, well, I got a car key here, a couple old shell casings. These are pretty old, too. I guess. Um, a lead fishing weight from over here by the pond. Uh, three elongated pennies. Oh, yes, the, uh, the zoo. Yes. Excellent. A few pull tabs. I was trying to figure out what was going on since I changed the settings on my machine. <laughs> I got a few dimes here. Yeah, you did. I always get dimes. Never fails. Got a bunch of zinc pennies and copper pennies all mixed in here. Uh, two quarters, one token, one oh, wow. nickel, and then uh, my prize of the day, 1925 Merc. That's beautiful, Leo. All right. All right, and on to Dennis's stuff. Now, Dennis, you got a lot of pool tabs, but you know you got you to gotta dig those because you know what they can be. Gold. Potentially, that's right. That's right. So, and what else did you get? You got. Uh, I got a couple of dimes, uh, four nickels, and a row of pennies. And then on to what you found today, Dan. Well, well got let's the, see. Uh, usual uh, clad here. Absolutely, all the the normal change, and yeah. then you got down here where we got some regular quarters, yeah, some and quarters. then some dimes, and then we got to the uh, the good stuff yep, here, huh? Two silver Roosevelt dimes. Excellent. 1953 and a 1951. Excellent. And then up here we have... Uh, Actually, I got 11 wheat back pennies. 11 wheat backs. We got one on top of the other here. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I think my oldest wheat back was a 1917S. Really? I got a couple 1920s. And what's the oldest one you got today? Uh, I think it was 1917S was the uh, oldest wheat back. Well, you did pretty good considering, uh, well, I missed kind of a lot of the action. And you've gone over this area quite a bit, but you still got more. Yeah.